Okay, so here we are with Mr. Krakow's Gimpy, and I'm just going to set his head off to the side because we're not going to deal with him today. What we are going to do, well, okay, we're not messing with his head. We're going to do a little brush on primer, and that's to get these areas where I'm going to do the more tan color, which I don't think I've exactly picked out yet. Had to check, make sure it was recording, unlike last time. <laughs> um, so I'm hoping that where we brush this on, and I plan to do like his little chest right here, that it'll help the paint grip just a little bit better than it was. Because I really don't want to paint so many layers like I did last time. You can kind of see that the primer is not really sticking very well. I'm not concerned about that. Because right now I'm just giving it, trying to get it kind of wet so that it'll have a place to grab the paint when we do the color we do want. might grab really well right up there, but it's all well and good. I'm not trying to get it to pool in any of these spots. So I'm wiping off and rinsing. I guess I could use a bigger brush for that part of it. And that would be a cat hair. Uh, it would still be a cat here. <laughs> I don't actually know when I'll be able to get this video up. Your life's taking a bite again. It's drawing release time, so I've been working overtime. And I come home and painting is not something I want to do at that point. I think this can be seen on the video. But this is almost like uh, how I would sit down and do very nice layering techniques for highlights and things like that. You know, the paint is not covering, and but that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to get a thin layer on here. And I know I said I wasn't going to record each and every one, but I figured I'd show at least one layer and one set of painting. And there we go. I will probably do two or three layers. I'm not even going to do that on camera because it's not going to show up anything. And I will do be back for the tan color that we'll put on the underside of the tail and the chest. And that'll be Krakow Stimpy's tan parts from what you can see in the picture. I don't think I uploaded a picture, but... Search for Krakow Stimpy and you'll see it. For his belly, I have decided to use Terran Khaki. Khaki. And you can see I've got the primer on with his belly and his tail. I do not remember how many coats it took. But we'll just jump straight in. I'm a little worried this is darker than I wanted to go. But I can always highlight it up. I've got a little bit too much paint right there, so I'm going to try to drag it forward. It looks like the primer worked 
fairly well. But I think I'm still going to have to do quite a bit of layers on this. You know, maybe I'm just getting the paint way too thin. I just realized one big problem with having this big piece of wood on here. I can't turn them sideways very easily. At least on camera I can't. But that's just something I'll have to deal with. With as dry as it is today here, the paint will probably go pretty quickly. So I may be... Ooh, nope. I do not want you on the coat. I guess it doesn't really matter. I haven't figured out what to paint that yet. And just trying to get everything evenly coated at least once. I keep seeing spots that are blacker than I want. So, switch to the tail now. That should be a little easier. Mm -hmm. Guess I'm just not very talkative today. This part of the video is several weeks after the previous one. We had family vacation and school started today, so we needed to get everything settled there. Not that anybody on the video will notice. Only those rabid fans that are expecting their video once a week. I do try. I actually like the way that tail came out really well. I think that looks nice. So it gives me hope about his chest area that it will look nice as well once we get it evenly coated. talking. I'm a little worried about how I'm going to paint his nose. If you recall, that nose is solid red right now. And I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't have done that. Because if I paint thin layers of blue over it, That's going to be purple. Or it'll look a little purplish. Hold on, i got to pull this away to turn it on its side and paint back in there because it's bothering me. And then I paint too much on it, and so I have to go back in and wipe off. I don't know where it was. We'll call that good. So then I was thinking, well, I'll just put some primer over it, like I did for his stomach area. I'll let that dry while I talk. And so, oh, here, I'll just put this away and we'll talk the nose. So, if you can see the nose here, I kind of want to do, you know, that bulb, bulbous area for sure. And then a little ways past, I want to transition it into the red. 
even though you know the real Croco Stimpy has just a solid nose. It's, you know what? That's what I might do. So I might just put the the blue here all the way around where I can see. You know, I don't have to get down into the nostrils, but just on top. And then kind of transition it back on that little ridge. That's what I think I'll do, because if I do that transition right here, there's not a lot to see, and so if it turns a little purple, I won't care that much. But that'll give a good dark blue on there, so that's what I'll do. So now back, and we'll just do a second coat on the tail, and I wasn't planning to do multiple layers on camera this time, just like I didn't do it for the orange skin, but I think that it's drying so fast that it should be no problem. He's still a little glossy, so let me blow on him a bit. It's still a little wet. I've actually edited the video here to take off some time. Just me blowing and coughing and generally hacking my sinuses. So I'm trying to avoid the, the wet areas here. I guess really aren't that bad. I think I used too much paint. And I don't want to mess up the nice areas that I've got so far. I can't really see the black anymore except for like right there. Okay, so I think after this I'll let it dry really well, maybe put one more layer on, but that's all I'm going to show on camera. So we'll call his belly done, and I don't think this was a very long video, so I might do the nose. Go ahead and do that. So we'll see you in a bit. Okay, so it's time for Mr. Croco Stimpy's nose. I'm going to be using True Blue. As I prepared for this, I realized I have no idea if this is going to work or not. So this will be an adventure on everyone's part. I'm going to try to hold it closer to the camera and get the autofocus working, but I'm not sure if it'll work video-wise, paint-wise, otherwise, super-wise, jam-wise, Sam-wise. I wonder how far up his head I would have go. I almost want to say I want to stop right there. And then I think that's going to be really hard to show. I'm not even sure it's focusing right. Come on. Trying to get just a little bit on the side there. Yeah. Brush was too wet. Picked up some paint and realized that wasn't going to work. Okay. So I was trying to get around to that side of the nostril. Ooh, I could just hold it like that. That works. for a actual painting and I got too much on there. 
if I can get that off in time. A little bit of paint right there. Anyway, might go a little bit more down, I think. Not sure if it'll pick it up, but just a little more down that way. It's more flat. I have a computer behind me, and I just had an iTunes update pop up in front. So I'm thinking, eh, his nose maybe needs a little bit more on that front. It dried really quick, too much paint. to do just a little bit more there but yeah I think that right there is very Chris Felucci and I think I'm gonna call his head good I think what was throwing me was it was curved a little bit yeah I try to do more and I'm gonna do a little touch up right there on his nose I don't like that it's on that nostril so much. I want it to be, if this shows, I keep saying that. It's just on the top of the nostril. I don't want it on the side. So, anyway, I think that's good for that, and that'll be the end of this episode, I believe. Anyway, thanks for watching, and until next time, I guess next time, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I was going to go to into another YouTuber's exit, and that's not right. <laughs> anyway, that's it for me. See you next time.